in the mail, MSX came from Japan. Collecting without fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a package in the mail. All the way from um, Spain, over in Europe, and I am assuming <coughs> this is a homebrew game, the MSX. Did get a little squished, so hopefully it's okay. It has to come off a long way. Well, it is in its own plastic case, so it should be pretty safe. I actually, I can see which one it is already, I actually don't know a lot about this one. Um, so, it is none other than Cornelius in the Forbidden Zone. Um, and they're using these uh, Mega Drive Master System cases, which is the ones that are um, good to get hold of at the moment. I do note that the plastic's pretty good on this one. Um, so I might ask him where he gets them from. I got some of these and the plastic's a little, a little funny. Um, so, we have, I believe, a platform adventure type game that looks very colourful. It's for um, most MSX systems it'll work on. So it'll, it'll work all the way down to MSX1. I don't know whether it enhances itself when it um, finds those other systems. So, let's have a look. And I said these Mega Drive cases work very well because an MSX cartridge is actually the same size as a Mega Drive or Master System cartridge. Uh, we have a menu and the cartridge itself. Okay. They've got another piece of homebrew there as well. I don't know much about that one. Because obviously, this is obviously from the uh, the Spanish MSX market. There are lots of people in Spain who love the MSX. Uh, yes, walk and jump. Acknowledgements of who worked on the game. Lots of people worked on the game by the looks of it. And then we have the cartridge itself, which they've also put in a plastic pack. Looks like a good quality cartridge shell. Now where's the setting? There we go. Very nicely done. Very nice smooth cartridge. Um, there is, a, I believe, a gentleman in Korea who um, has a, this, this mould and uh, makes them on, uh, you can get them on order. Um, I do have some uh, Konami shaped MSX shells at the moment, uh, but eventually I'll have to get some more. So I'm releasing some more titles myself, but uh, that's labelling's done very well. It's a lot of work assembling cartridges, um, and um, yeah, so. Without further ado, we better go plug this into an MSX and give it a go. Right, so here we go with Cornelius in the Forbidden Zone by Physical Dreams 2023. I have not played this at all, I haven't seen any screenshots, so let's discover it together. Protect yourself against man, right, okay. So there we go, I am Cornelius. Okay, what can I jump on or what can I jump on? I just feel that flower looking thing something I can potentially get. Oh, we'll come back. Can we do that? No? Okay. Let's just avoid the creative drop. Push a block. A 
and I reckon I was supposed to push that over there. Hmm, that's the only thing I can't pull and grab back. That's okay. Let's come up here. Let's see once again. Start bring the game for the first time. We'll go off the screen. Come back on. Yes, resets it. Okay. Squash me. <laughs> we need to get off before we get to the top. Okay. That's it. Not bad for my very first play. Let's keep going. Right. Got quite a good floaty jump. And it's not instant death, too, which is good. Can learn. It is possible. Music is quite good too. Aha! And now we're swimming. Okay. Does that help? No. Oh, and we died already. Oh. Well, we're getting further. We have to keep going. Right. I said it's puzzle, platform, explorer type game. So that's what you've got to do. you got to keep at it and play. But I said the controls are quite nicer. use of colour. Okay. So that doesn't help you. But you can jump out of the water like that. So you need to be able to... Okay, let's go. Get in there. Yeah, that's it. And we can go up here too. Mm. Oh, damn. Look, look, I am getting further. And this is... Oh, I think I'm going to get a lot of enjoyment out of this. is obviously going to take a little while to work out. But, um, quite well done game. Alright, we'll have a... See if we can just get that a little bit further. See? 
Okay, and down here. Oh, as you can see, look, we know we've got quite a maze. So four, maybe there are some collectibles. Hey, there we go, we got some things. Okay, let's have a look down here. You know, it's just a matter of getting used to the environment. Oh, we have a switch. Oh. Click. Can we collect that? Is it? The music is um, quite pleasant. Right, so that hasn't cleared the way there, that's alright. We need to do a bit more exploring, I take it. Right, now we need to go up here. Right. Hmm, what's that? It just looks like something we can. Oh, okay, like computers or something. There's quite a lot of varied art and everything here. A lot of effort's gone into this. I just wonder whether I'm missing something I'm supposed to be doing there. But it's alright. Decent taste of the game, and we'll see. Oh, right up here. Ooh, I lost a fair bit of health. And I jumped in the fire. <laughs> Very well done. All right. Um, I will definitely be playing this game some more. See if I can get a bit further and uh, working out the, uh, the bits and pieces. But highly, highly recommended. Um, I'll put details down here from where I got it from, so you can uh, go get your own copy if there's some available. Um, yep. Yeah. Two thumbs up. Thank you very much. All right. I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.